A continuous fractionating column is to be designed to separate 30,000 kilograms an hour of a mixture of 40% benzene and 60% toluene into an overhead product containing 97% benzene and a bottoms product of 98% toluene. These percentages are by weight. The molar latent heats of vaporization are 7,360 and 7,960 calories per mole, respectively. The mixture of benzene and toluene is ideal. For number one, we will calculate the moles of overhead and bottoms product per hour. First, let's draw out the diagram of the distillation column. We can label the overhead product stream D for the distillate and the bottoms product as B for the bottoms. From the problem statement, we know that the distillate is 97% benzene and 3% toluene by weight. Likewise, we know that the bottom is 98% toluene and 2% benzene by weight. The feed is 30,000 kg per hour and it has a composition of 40% benzene and 60% toluene by weight. We also need to know the molecular weights of benzene and toluene, which are 78 and 92 grams per mole respectively. Now we can set up the overall mass balances for benzene and toluene. The balances should be mass in to the system equals mass out. Simplifying these equations gives us two equations and two unknowns. So now we can solve for the overhead and bottoms products mass flow rates. We can then convert these mass flow rates to molar flow rates using the molecular weights. We can separate the product streams into their mass compositions, then convert to moles to get the total moles of overhead and bottoms product per hour. Number two asks us to calculate how much steam per hour is required to reboil 690 moles per hour. We can label the feed as L bar for liquid and the exit as V bar for vapor. The first step is to calculate the mole fractions going in for both toluene and benzene. This is equal to the moles of toluene coming out of the bottoms, which we did in problem one, divided by the total moles of the bottoms product. The mole fraction of benzene is equal to one minus the mole fraction of toluene. Now we multiply the mole fractions by V bar to determine the number of moles of each of toluene and benzene that are coming out of the vapor stream. Now we can multiply by the heat of vaporization to determine the energy and calories required to vaporize the chemicals. This total number of calories should be converted to pounds of steam using the information provided in the problem statement. Problem 3 asks us to calculate how much cooling water is required in cubic meters per hour. First, let's label the diagram of the condenser. The feed is V for vapor and the exit is L for liquid. The flow rate is 690 moles per hour. Next, we need to determine the mole fraction of benzene and toluene using the molar flow rates we calculated in problem 1. Then we can use these mole fractions to convert the molar flow rates of toluene and benzene into calories per hour via the latent heats of vaporization. Combining these gives us the total heat and calories that the chemicals generate by condensation. We can then convert these calories to joules using the conversion factor of 4.184 joules per calorie. From chemistry, we know that Q, the heat, is equal to mass times heat capacity times change in temperature. For water, Cp is equal to 4.184 joules per kilogram per kelvin, and in this problem, the temperature change is 15 degrees kelvin. We also know that mass is equal to volume times density. We will assume a constant density of water of 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Now we just need to plug in the value for Q and solve for the volumetric flow rate. Since the water is responsible for condensing the chemicals, the heat generated by benzene and toluene is absorbed by the water. Therefore, Q is equal to the value we calculated above. After dividing over, we end up with the required flow rate of water.